Hello everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do this four thong round braid both with a core and without a core. To start, I've colored the four thongs and the total width of the four thongs should be about the same as the perimeter of whatever it is we're trying to cover. On one side I have red and green, on the other side I have black and tan. To start, I'm going to cross the green one over the black one. The next step, I'm going to take the red one, pull it under the tan, and over the green. The next step, I'm going to take the tan, pull it around the back, past the black, and over the red. So this is the first round of braiding. This is the back of the braid. The next step, we'll see that these four thongs are in four different positions. The black one being at the highest position. So this is the one we're going to use next. Whichever one is closest to where we started from, that is the one we braid next. So take the black one, I'm going to pass it under the green one and over the tan one. So there's a pattern that emerges. Now that the green one becomes the the one closest to where we started from. So the black green one comes around It goes under the red one and over the black one. This pattern is going to continue. Red one is going to come around, go under the tan one, and over the green one. Like this. So the tan one is going to go under the black and over the red. And then the black one is going to go under the green and over the tan. So we start from one side, then we take a thumb from the other side. This goes back and forth for as long as we like. And the back is exactly the same pattern as the front. Now, we've gotten to the near the end. Um, this is braided, in this example I braided this with a core. This can also be braided in the absence of core. The pattern follows exactly the same as we had before. Except now there's nothing to do. Exactly the same as before. So in this case, the red one is going to go under the tan and over the green. So right now it doesn't have a core to anything to braid against. And the tan one is going to go under the black and over the red. But the pattern still is the same. We're going to use the one that's closest to where we started from, in this case, the black one. under the green, over the tan. The next highest one is the green one. Under the red, over the black. I'm going to do the red one. The tan one is under the black, over the red. This pattern is going to continue. Once you figure out the pattern, braiding becomes much easier.
So parts of this we've braided with a core in there, and parts of this we've braided without a core. And how you braid is really up to you. So here you can compare and contrast the difference. This thing's actually on there, braided on there quite tight. I could take the lashing off and pull on it, and it's just, it's actually really hard to come off. So, I hope you enjoyed this braiding, and I hope you give this a try.